With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. This question asks that in a compound microscope, the objective is f naught and the eyepiece is f e. These are placed at a distance l such that l equals to. So they are saying. We have to find the value of L. So L is F naught plus F E, and F naught minus F E much greater than F naught or F E. Or they have said that need not depend either value of focal lengths. Okay. So to understand this question, we need to know how this convex lens is made. Uh, how this compound microscope is made. Okay. So in compound microscopes. What happens? There are two convex lenses. One is for the object, and one is for the eyepiece. Right. So, let me make a line for that uh, axis. Okay. So this is our eyepiece. This is our objective. Right. So, if this is so, if this is our object, that means. See here, this is our object, right? It is of height h. Now, from here to here, ray will pass like this. Another ray will pass from the center point, right? And it will reach out here. Let's suppose like this, okay? Similarly, for this ray, it will come here and intersect at some point, and it will go like this, right? Now this ray will pass through the eyepiece like this, right? Eyepiece like this, okay. So this angle is known as theta, okay. Now from here to here, it is the focal length that is f naught, and from intersection point of over here, let's suppose this. This was a and b. So this becomes b b dash and a dash, right? This distance is f e, right? And the distance between these two is l. Okay. Now we have two convex lenses. One of the lenses is the objective lens that is kept near the object, and the other is ocular lens, which is eyepiece, which means it is kept near the eye for the eye of the viewer. So the image of the object formed by the objective lens is real, inverted, and magnified. So this image acts as an acts as an object for the second lens, which forms an enlarged image, which is virtual in nature. So the image formed by the second lens is inverted with respect to the object and enlarged further. Okay, this is how a compound microscope work. So what is this magnification? This magnification is known as m naught. Okay, this is equal to H dash. This height is H dash. Okay, H dash divided by the original height H. Okay, and what is tan theta over here? Tan theta over here will become H divided by the focal length of the objective lens. This should be also equal to H dash divided by L. And further, we can write it down as H dash divided by H should be equal to L divided by F naught. Right. So. The formula for magnification could be also written as m not divided l divided by f not, right? And we have to find out this l. Now magnification due to eyepiece is given as m of e. Magnification due to eyepiece. Okay, that is given as m not e. Me divide that is equal to d divided by mu naught. Okay, this is the lens make of formulas. Okay, now if we take out the total magnification, total magnification will become m naught into me. Right, so this becomes what? This becomes l divided by f naught into one plus d divided by f e. Right, from knowing all this. We know that this L has to be greater than, much greater than F naught or F e, right? So our third option is the correct option. I hope I have solved your question. Thank you. 
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.